It's John, the autoresponder guy, coming to you from dropdeadcopy.com. I'm here today to tell you that ebooks suck, okay? Everyone does them. You go to so many websites, to a landing page, and they have a nice catchy headline and three to five bullet points. And down the bottom, they tell you that you're, that you're gonna receive their special report, their ebook, okay? But ebooks suck. Okay, no one reads ebooks. When was the last time that you down read an ebook that you downloaded? I don't think I've ever done it. Mainly because, I mean, ebooks are free information. And we don't value free information, especially in a world where information is everywhere. We have way too much information. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to stop giving people, stop offering subscribers an ebook because it's not compelling anymore, okay? What you need to do instead is you need to process the information for them. Okay, we have too much information. Life is busy, the internet with everything. We don't have enough time to consume an ebook. Okay, your subscribers don't want to do it. So, what you need to do is you need to process the information for them. And this is what I do when I write autoresponders, and this is what you need to be doing if you want to please your subscribers. Okay, so here's what you need to do instead of doing the ebook, I want you to take each chapter and I want you to turn it into an email. Okay, and then you're going to turn that into an autoresponder. Five emails, 10 emails, 20 emails, it doesn't matter the length exactly, okay? What matters is that you're sending content out regularly, every few days, maybe once a week, on some sort of regular basis. Now what this allows you to do is it means you can keep in contact regularly with your prospects and your customers. And this means that you're gonna end up with higher conversions because you have a stronger relationship with them. Does that make sense? Now, as you continue to do this, you get better, Except better and better results. Um, let's see what else. What else can we talk about ebooks? Now, one of the main benefits of ebooks that I think in terms of your subscribers is that your subscribers aren't going to read a book. Okay, let's face it. Like I said, no one reads these ebooks these days. We read physical books, but not not ebooks. No one likes to read stuff on the computer. Okay, so what? So what the course does? So when you t take a chapter of an ebook and put it into one email. It doesn't have to be a long email, you can simplify it, okay? You wanna make it easy on prospects to, uh, you know, to experience the value from the information you provide. So, hang on, here comes a motorcycle. It's gonna get noisy. Yep, that was a motorbike, okay. So eBooks. Now, when you, uh, when you take an eBook and take each chapter and put it into a, you know, one email, second email, third email, fourth email, you're making it really easy for your subscribers to experience your value. You're going to be sending them these emails automatically. They don't have to do anything to get it. They don't have to work. They don't have to read through a, uh, you know, a 70 page ebook that they simply don't have time to read through. Okay. So this is perfect because not only does it mean you can keep in contact with your subscribers regularly, it also means that they are more likely to see the value that you have to offer. And if they see the value that you have to offer, they're more likely to buy from you. This is, like I said, this is John, the autoresponder guy, coming to you from dropdeadcopy.com. I'll see you next time for a, uh, another video session.